shit on her nightstand, she must be fucking with Ghana. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with slacks and we gonna eat rats, and I came with some fucking piranhas. Yeah. All the best Scotty, I got in my way, need somebody grow me a cheese. Came out the hood in my truck, got a hood, and I click out the car with no keys. Beat it, she for the. This is like my only pajama shirt. Like, if I'm not wearing this, I'm wearing this. <laughs> I'm always wearing this stupid shirt. Okay, I was gonna get cute for this video, y'all, but I'm plenty. I'm waiting too long. Oh well. We're recording it just like this. What is up, my YouTube? What is it? I don't even know my intro. I don't know my intro. <laughs> what is up, my boogie babies? It's your girl, Nine Boogie in the Hood. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking y'all on my natural hair journey. Over like the past two years, I've been growing out my hair. So, boom, bow. That's what it's about. I have my iPad here. I took pictures and got like the receipts. So, everything I'm looking down at on my iPad is gonna be on the screen so y'all can know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about it. But yes, this is my natural hair. I've been wearing it out since like the beginning of January, I think. So I had to make sure I recorded this before I put it back up. But I know it's been a long time. I don't even have no more excuses, y'all. You know? Birthday month, I was busy. I was I was just out everywhere. This month, doing the same thing. I'm so tired of saying I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just shut up and try to record as many videos as I could. Okay, Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> okay, y'all. But I don't know. I'm gonna figure out the date and put it on the screen. But there was this like uh during this time period with the pink shirt and the short hair. Y'all, look how, look how short my hair is. Let me move up. Look how short my hair is. My hair was so short. Look at this, man. I was bald head. I was bald head. This is real life progress. Like, this is a real life journey, like, for real. I was so shy. How long you take Because I thought it was somebody. <laughs> so, boom. During that time, I was blow drying my hair, like, a lot, a lot, a lot, to get it to be, like, kind of like this, but a little bit poofier. I'm gonna show y'all what I mean, but I didn't know how to do that. So when I was trying to do it, a lot, a lot, a lot every day, my hair was breaking off and I just didn't even know how to take care of it at all. I wasn't, at that time, I wasn't wearing weave or nothing. I wasn't getting blow sprays. I wasn't doing anything with my hair, but my natural hair. So it was bad. It was bad. So boom, what happened was we ended up moving and I ended up getting this rice treatment that my mom did. She, she made up this rice serum and I started using that. I used that one good time and I did like an egg protein mask thing on my hair. That was literally the only time I've ever did it. And I kept getting it braided up and stuff and it never stopped. So boom, moving on. Here's another picture from when I was bald headed. With that, I had that gray and white shirt. Yeah, that was just so bad. I was walking around a lot with that bowl. I'm gonna show y'all where the real jump was from when I took the treatment and then to that. This was right when we moved in. So this had to be like two, three years ago. When I had this curly hair. Yeah, my hair, that's what it looked like when it was curly. It was, it was really nowhere. So January 20th, 2020. That's when I had the treatment. I had just took it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember she took this and she was like, oh, yeah, we're gonna see how much your hair grows after this. After the treatment, this is when my hair started growing. When my hair was blown out, you see, it was like right above my shoulders, kind of. Really cute, I guess. And then my bun, my poofball bun. It was like, this is when I started hot combing my brush, hot combing my brush, hot combing my hair again. Not hot combing, but like hot brushing, like making it blown out. So that's what my bun looked like. This, this was when my hair wasn't blown out, but it was like, it was still super. It was a nice size, but when it really started growing, when it's, let's move up. Okay, so here, this is, that's May 18th. Look how big my poofball is already compared to that stupid little freaking bun thing before that. I hate like that. Depressed. because it's so ugly and then this video this video this tiktok video that is my hair in june so that's six months afterwards and that wasn't it combed out or nothing that was just me straight taking it out of the ponytail it was it had grown so much and then this is it when it was curly like wet curly i did that wet look yeah and it was like super long compared to the old one compared to the super super bald headed i mean sorry bald headed Ooh. short one the tips let's give some tips while we're like kind of getting through it the pillowcase you use it's more important than you think because if you sleep on a regular clothy pillow like this or any other fabric you're gonna your hair's gonna just dry out every night you sleep on it and then it really depends on the hairstyle that you go to sleep in too if it's not like something that's you're wearing like a silk scarf around it or coil ray braids oh they're not called coil ray they're called coil ray braids the jumbo which are not your hair regular plots those wear those in your hair that's tip number two wear those in your hair 
even when your hair is not done don't just throw it in a ponytail don't don't just throw it in a low bun. don't do none of that put your flash your hair up use some growth oil tip number three use that growth oil and flash your hair up and sleep on a silk pillow at night so your hair is not drying up and getting bristled and nasty and ugly and waking up and your hair shorter don't do that so don't miss the top three them is the great ones and if you really want to see long-term long-term growth use rice water get some rice soak it in some water for some hours and spray that stuff in your hair like no tomorrow and leave it in it for a little while rinse it out if you want whatever the case is and boom let it grow and, and then use those other tips and your hair is going to be shakira shakira down on your neck all the way so boom that's what helped me the most okay so look at my puff ball compared to 2020 so she was nice and then 2021 that girl was booming that was a boom ball boom ball that was crazy look at this she this is pretty average and then mwah, that's greatness look what you just did to me that's crazy <laughs> yeah this is when i really noticed my hair was crazy big because i'm like how in the world is this poof ball on top of my head and I didn't even blow it out that's like how is this me this is all me this is all me Mwah. yeah and my friend Lay, of course y'all it's a lay babe she did my makeup that day she did some little cute little sparkly eyeshadow on my face it was so great and I had that stud in I need to switch my stud in I miss her so that was within a year's time the difference you know the difference it was like one is like a little average cute and then other one's like Oh yeah, she got a lot of hair. And y'all, I have never got my ends trimmed. I don't know what the thing is. Maybe that really does help. That probably helped a lot of other people, but I have never got my ends trimmed, none of that. I mean, I just never did it. I know, people might ask that. Okay, and then, so yeah, after my hair had grew, this is January, 2021, two. And I had uh, my hair blown out with the hot brush and it was just banging. I was just loving my natural hair. I said, oh my God, I'm feeling like Cardi B. And Cardi B is the one that she's been saying egg mask and rice water too. She was saying that for her uh, hair too. But she was using a lot of other stuff too, like like uh, avocados and stuff. So y'all better go check on hers too. Boom, that's what was happening. I was just looking like a baddie enjoying my hair. It was literally down my back, down my back. I think this was a little bit after that wet look video. I had did the, my head recorded myself with my curly hair. This is like probably straight out the shower. It was way fuller and like longer. Lots of progress, greatness, greatness. And look at my afro like way back. This was probably like three, I don't know the date. It was probably like three years ago. That, look at that afro. Look at that afro, it's not okay. Compared to my newer afro, like my, my nowadays recent, like she's banging, she's popping. She was, yeah, I got she, yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, you should already see these pictures. So if this is new to you, that's crazy. If you're new here and this is your first time seeing me, follow the Instagram, please. Cause I don't know the next time I'm gonna go on hiatus. I miss y'all. Um, yeah, but the, that's basically everything. I don't really know. Let me think of some other tips though, before I say that. Oh, make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water and don't do too many eggs mask on your hair like just raw egg y'all i'm talking about raw egg don't do too many of those because that too much protein is it can make your hair it it's going you're going to do no your scalp is going to grow some nasty stuff out of it okay so limit that limit that mm -hmm. keep your hair braided up as much as you could Wash use that growth the much. growth oil it really matters i'm gonna put the one that i use up there that i was using i'm gonna put that up to the screen because we ain't gonna get keep it okay y'all that's what i've been using i've been sending that to a lot of people they've been asking like how you're here that everybody probably got that in the closet too mm -hmm. make sure you're using that when your hair is done and when it's not done don't plast when it's not done will save your life i'm telling you because your hair is never going to stop growing it's always going to be in the braid where it's going to grow the best make sure you're keeping it moisturized um with what do i moisturize with i use bella curls i'm gonna put that on the screen too i use that uh to keep it moisturized that's i don't know that's always what i've been using me and my sister my sister's hair oh my gosh her hair has grown crazy too it's, it hasn't just been me her hair has grown crazy too it's some from since quarantine 2020 to now her hair is like down her back just like mine so these things work and she was doing the coily ray braids the plaits and the silk pillows and all these things i'm telling y'all to do and it was probably a lot but it was worth it because now our hair we don't have to worry about having her hair done because our hair is long so make sure y'all are doing these things 
to see good results. Y'all can't put in the work, half of the work, and want good results, okay? That won't help. <laughs> I don't know what the thing is with washing people's, I don't know, people, I don't care. I don't wash my hair often at all, y'all. Like, it's so rare when I do. I rather black keep, I don't know if, the, yeah, black people only, stop, we love our white folks, okay? But my sister, like, her hair grows the most when it's dirty, like, when she doesn't go, like, when she keeps all the, whatever the, whatever it is, all the natural black hair juicy juices in it, it grows, the, it grows better. It really just does. Unless I take my hair out and there's, like, a lot of, like, uh, dirt from, like, braids or, like, from a wig, then I wash it, but I, I rarely do. I keep keep whatever needs to be there there okay so it's most it's a maintenance thing if you can be consistent and maintain it you'll see some good results okay don't lose hope pray manifest the affirmations all of that good stuff okay that's all gonna play a factor too okay so i love y'all so much thank y'all for watching stay tuned for the next video i love y'all so much periana follow my instagram add me on snap we could be friends we could be cool i don't i don't bite and i'm out